Hello everyone out there in TV land. Strictly Diesel TV coming to you live or on YouTube, whichever the case. We're going to do a little presentation today of our Strictly Diesel dipstick adapter. And we're going to do it off the vehicle. I'm going to show you what happens to a pan or inside a pan as you're installing one of these. So you can see where your adapter goes once you drop it and so on. I wanted to point out that this, this uh, adapter here is wore out. You can see the o-ring splitting out. You can see the dish and the back of the adapter. And you can basically see that that's wore out. This was leaking, and the nut was loose on the outside. Got a list of tools as far as what we're using today. Torque wrench, pick, vice grips, needle nose, 3 16 Allen, quarter inch drive ratchet, does not have to be a flex head, and a big pair of channel locks. Okay, folks, so first and foremost, I want to point out we do not have a starter sitting right here. Anyone who's doing this in the chassis is going to have to pull their starter off first. Uh, this is just a short video of doing the adapter itself. So to start, we're going to remove the nut, like so. Notice I have my pan on, or my hand on the inside of the pan. That's not legit. So we're going to do this as if we were doing it in chassis. You will get to a point where the nut should thread off by hand. Some are more stubborn than others. Just before you pull the nut off, you want to attach a needle nose vice grips right about in that area. Granted, we pulled the dipstick out already. That O-ring is out of here. Now we're going to unthread this nut and pull back. Once we've done that, this is where your pick comes in. With the nut hanging off, we're going to move The adapter inside, and we're looking for that O-ring. With the clip, we're going to pull that O-ring out. A little 90 degree pick, excuse me. We're going to pull that O-ring out, and then once that's out, we're going to grab it by hand. So we have it, and then we're going to let the internal part go. As you can see, everything is dropped inside the pan. It's now at the bottom. That's a good thing. Uh, once that's done, you're going to want to clean the surface here for the adapter to seal properly. You might have to take a bit of small sandpaper to this, brake clean, make sure it's nice and clean, and you'll be ready for install after that. video purposes, there you go. Here's our adapter. Notice that we have a weld on one nut, or one bolt, excuse me. And you have one that's threaded all the way in. We're going to remove that threaded one right now. I'm 
This one with the weld on it also has Teflon tape on it. That Teflon tape is there for a reason. That's going to be our restriction once we get this installed in the pan. Notice the backing plate moves freely. We have our notches here. This will fit an OBS and or Super Duty, depending on what you have. There's two notches. We're going to slide that in. We're going to locate the notch we need. Once we get our plate in there. So that would be old body style Ford. This would be Super Duty. We'll go ahead and put it in the Super Duty location. With that in the location, you're going to want to hold it there and install your little Allen socket. Keep in mind that you're pushing against this to hold it in place while it's in there. And if you now turn your Allen, you can feel the weight of the backing plate moving on the back side of the pan. Normally I try to pull out on this Allen just a little bit so that the plate is closer. You're turning that plate on the back side with the restriction of the uh, Teflon tape that's on there. And you're carefully trying to align the bolt with that plate. And I can feel that I'm off because I'm hitting the bolt. This happens in chassis just like it does here. Okay, I can feel it hit the bolt hole right there, so I'm starting to thread. At this point, I give a little tug on the bolt. I cannot feel it coming out, so I'm going to thread this one in. Okay, we are almost done. Here's where you overcome the Teflon tape. Excuse the shadows. We're real high tech around here with the lighting. You're going to want to tighten these bolts to 100 inch pounds, give or take. And there you have it, one installed dipstick adapter. Fairly simple install, basic hand tools. I would recommend disconnecting the battery before you pull your starter. This is a perfect time to throw a new starter in the truck too while you're at it, just in case she's cranking slow. Check out those battery cables. Thanks for watching Strictly Diesel TV. Hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to leave comments below.